Once upon a time, in a grand kingdom, there was a wise man known for his intellect. The mighty king heard about the intellect of the wise man. The king, impressed by the man's wisdom, invited him to the royal palace. You have served my people well, the king said. I offer you a large house near the palace. You shall live in luxury. But the wise man humbly bowed and said, Your majesty, I do not need a grand house. If you insist, I ask for something much simpler, grains of rice. The king, surprised, raised an eyebrow. Grains of rice? That is all you want, he asked, puzzled by the modest request. The man smiled and said, Yes, but there is a condition. Place a grain of rice on the first square of the chessboard. On the second square, place two grains. On the third square, place four grains. Then eight. Continue this pattern for all 64 squares. The king laughed loudly and leaned back on his throne. You refuse a grand house and instead ask for rice? He mocked. Why not ask for something valuable? This is far too simple. No, the grains of rice are enough for me, said the wise man. All right, you will have your rice by noon, announced the king. The court laughed with the king, thinking it was a trivial task. The king ordered his minister to begin placing the rice on the chessboard. He then left on his boat to visit the kingdom. On the first square, the minister placed one grain of rice. On the second, they placed two grains, and on the third, four grains. But as the squares progressed, the grains multiplied rapidly. By the tenth square, there were thousands of grains of rice. By the twentieth square, there were millions. They struggled to keep up. Soon, the kingdom's entire rice supply wasn't enough. By the 30th square, the royal granaries were empty. When the king returned, his courtiers explained the situation that the entire royal granaries were empty. Shocked, the king realized the enormity of what the wise man had requested. I cannot fulfill this, the king admitted, now humbled. How could a request for rice become so vast? The wise man looked at the king and said softly, this is the power of compounding. What starts small can grow beyond imagination. The king, filled with regret for mocking the man, bowed his head. I see now, the king said, how small beginnings can become great. The wise man smiled. It is the same with our actions. Good deeds, though small, can compound and create great change. Do not underestimate the power of compounding. Small efforts, when repeated, grow into something vast. Just like grains of rice, our good deeds, when compounded, can change the world. <laughs>